Get up, raise your motherfucking hand. Now, what's your name, Pimpin? Excuse me? Dante? What do you do for a living? What do you do? You don't do nothing? How old are you? 20, and your life is like that. So, how do you pay for your clothes? How do you pay for your clothes? Uh, hey, hey, hoes, that's why we have problems with the world today. You talking out of turn. Ain't nobody saying nothing, y'all. All right, now that we had our commercial break, let's get back to the show. So how do you take care of yourself? You look fly, you got your white on, you look smooth. So how do you take care of yourself? You got people buying for you? Now who's the people? Like, who's the people? You gay? You got niggas fucking you? Is that what you're telling me? All right, so you, you really better clear this up before I take it another direction. So what, wh who are people, what people? Why you keep looking at them? She take care of you? Now who is she to you? That's your girl, so she helps you out? Okay, what do you do for a living, young lady? Excuse me? You're in med school and you take care of your man, I like that. All right, what do you like about him? Excuse me? How do, what, what do you like about him, sweetheart? He's what? Say it again? His sense of humor? I mean, I, I can look at you and tell you stupid in a motherfucker. <laughs> and, and no disrespect to you, you just on top of your game. But she dumb. And that's why you winning. How long y'all been fucking? Yo, yo. <laughs> that nigga like, hell no. I'm next, fuck that. But you gotta sit your ass down, Pepper. All right. So how long y'all been fucking, sweetheart? That's a difficult question, why? You? How long y'all been fucking? I ask you, because I can see you gonna keep it real. How long you been fucking her, fam? Three years? Did you fuck on the first date? Did you fuck on the first date? Because she, she, you can fuck her on the first date. Man. You can fuck on the first date. Did you fuck on the first date? Nah? So you 20 and you've been fucking her since when? 17? How old are you? Ma'am? I call her ma'am because you, you look old but for 25. I mean, no disrespect, don't you, when you look in the mirror, don't you say that? You're like, woo. <laughs> Damn, I'm 25. Yo, what's up? It's comedian TK Kirkman, AKA T to the motherfucking K. And I hold it down with the billion dollar plug. He got the funny ball. <laughs> I don't want a nice thick dick on their back like people you know, snuggling and shit. They can turn over about 2 31 and give you a PDD, a proper dick man. <laughs> anyway, you must be gay. You don't want no motherfucking dick. You must got a gay trade in you. See, you, you, you. Listen to me, I'm gonna tell you a story. When you stop talking, you're gonna get a man. You're all out of order, and I wish your father would take the time to take you out to check the cheese and stuff. <laughs> Discipline, because you ain't gonna never have no kind of thing about it. You're loud and you're out of control. You ever see a dog and they own the walk down the street, the dog is crazy? That's you. Because <laughs> the brother, see, you still a motherfucking dog. <laughs> God damn, you're not gonna get your run across tonight. I'm not one of these weak ass niggas. You're in the presence of a man. <laughs> I'm a man, baby. I'm, I'm gonna teach you. You be quiet for a few minutes. I'm gonna teach you a few things. A lot of you hoes lack discipline. That's why I'm so You ain't lying. Even hoes lack discipline. No, if you get offended by what I'm saying, it's best to get the fuck up on that. <laughs>
Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't, don't let this outfit fool you. I'm a college graduate. I have a master's degree and I'm 50 years old. I just don't look like it just because I ain't pussy and he's not zen. <laughs> A lot of you niggas is moving in with women and shit. Oh, hell no. What grown ass nigga move in with a bitch? You got your motherfucking mind to give a bitch leverage because you know you ain't gonna do right in my motherfucking way. <laughs> That's my point. You moving with a bitch and you still cheating on the bitch. That's like shitting in the bed and getting in the bed and laying next to the shit. <laughs> You don't cheat on a woman when a woman lets you in her motherfucking house. A lot of you niggas want us to cheat, but you ain't got your shit together. Just going around here slinging dick like you're successful. <laughs> Dicking bitches down like you Jay Z or Kanye West and shit. Nigga, don't pull your dick out unless your motherfucking money right. Yeah. Just coming in pussy, and you know your finances fucked up when you're nothing in the bitch. <laughs> Finances is fucked up. Some of you niggas will bring a bitch home to your house, and a lot of you niggas don't even have a bedroom set. <laughs> <laughs> what nigga don't have a motherfucking bedroom set? No disrespect, but the nigga got to be so fly that the bitch is confused. Because he ain't handsome like the nigga born. So what the fuck is he saying to the bitch for her to act like this is a mirage? Like... This nigga gonna be something. He gonna be the next Bernie Mac. Let me fuck with this nigga. I love a nigga with eight motherfucking kids, nigga. God. Even if I had eight kids, the, the bitch I'm fucking with wouldn't find out till the funeral. You understand know what I'm saying? We won't find out till the funeral. I'm like, I ain't know he had all these motherfucking kids. Yeah, bitch, cause I keep shit top fucking secret. Niggas tell all they business now with this Facebook shit, right? Eric Twitter, motherfuckers like I'm at the I'm at Benicas eating steak and salad. <laughs> like, who the fuck gives a fuck, yo? I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Facebook, I just started fucking with Facebook this year. And I'm not familiar with technology like that. You know, I'm, a, I'm an ex street nigga in college and got blessed to do my thing. But a nigga hit me on Facebook and I, don't, I can't see another man asking another nigga to request to be a friend. I'm like, what kind of gay shit is this going on here? And the nigga hit me with a pillow early this afternoon. <laughs> uh, I'm like, who the fuck is hitting me with a motherfucking pillow? That's some gay shit. Well, if, nigga, if, if you was walking down the street and nigga hit you with a pillow, wouldn't you find that disrespectful? And the, the, the fluff and the feathers and shit came out? Tripping like a motherfucker, nigga. God damn, shit is crazy. I came here, and this is my first time meeting Tone. You know, I talked to him on the phone. They had my money right. But I was very uncomfortable in the car coming up here. Because Tone is not the guy you really want to be in a car with. Have you looked at Tone? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I used to, I'm a street nigga who got successful. Now, I like Tone, but I ain't know, like, did I do something to some niggas out here? Because Tone don't look like the nigga you really supposed to be rolling with. You know what I'm saying? I like Tone, but Tone was like the smoking weed and they had the TVs in the back. I said, these niggas trying to get me high and trick me with the TVs and shit. So I'm quiet, but I'm texting my niggas in the back seat. Nigga, we in an orange Hummer. Two niggas driving. Nigga got weed, all right? Just roll up with the nine millimeters, just a motherfucking case, because they just think I'm a comedian. But be on point, nigga. Be on motherfucking point. Then we lost the signal. Because <laughs> Gary ain't got a towel. Gary ain't got a towel. Damn I'm surprised y'all got jobs out this month. My man was talking about depth and field. I'm like, God damn, is it that fucking crazy in here? It's crazy. God damn. You got to fault your parents if you still live in this area. <laughs> you know, you don't get mad at you or the nigga you fucking. Go home to your parents and say, Mom, fuck you. You could have got us out of Gary. When Michael Jackson and Joe Jackson on that. <laughs> to go to Hollywood, everybody should have motherfucking left them too. Have you drove down the street? I seen three stores. What's that? I don't even think y'all got a Macy's.
Do y'all have a Macy's? Maryville. Oh, my. Michael Jackson love. <laughs> Women just throwing around pussy like you gonna come up. I'm looking around. I saw a lot of you ladies before. You know, I ain't been here in a few years, but a lot of you bitches don't fell off. <laughs> I don't know if it's the air or what, but you're not working out, you're not taking care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? You're getting a lot of water around your neck and shoulder area. Your ankles are swelled and shit. You guys don't take care of your motherfucking self. You know? Niggas is just niggas don't take care of themselves either. You know what I'm saying? Niggas always talking about women, but niggas be walking through the house. If you know you got a fucked up body, nigga, and you with your bitch, put a robe on, nigga. <laughs> you know you got a fucked up body, put on a motherfucking robe. Niggas want to get their balls and dick lit, but you got nappy hair on your balls, nigga. Take a picture of your balls. Would you suck your balls? <laughs> Niggas got a nerd to bring bitches over to their house and only got a motherfucking mattress on the floor with a sheet. <laughs> with a heater and one blanket. Come on, niggas, you crazy. Some niggas come to bitches' house and know they got kids and don't bring snacks, don't bring groceries. If you dicking a bitch down, you supposed to bring groceries. Oh, what a wonderful feeling. Fire. The feeling to be one. The feeling to be. The feeling to be. Oh, what a wonderful feeling. The feeling to be one. Fuck y'all. The feeling to be.